All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. I'd like to ask Councillor Peter Angel to lead us in prayer, please. Thank you, Worship. I'd ask Council and the members here to, or and the members in the audience, to bow their heads, please. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. A prayer for peace. Almighty and eternal God, may your grace enkindle in all of us the love for the many unfortunate people in poverty and misery, and misery reduced to a condition of life unworthy of human beings. Arouse in the hearts of those who call you Father a hunger and thirst for justice and peace and for fraternal charity in deeds and in truth. Grant, O Lord, peace in our days, peace to souls, peace to families, peace to our country, and peace among nations. Amen. Amen. Thank you. <clears throat> Members of Council, the first order of business uh, is the adoption of the Council Minutes of December 10th, 2007. Motion by Councillor Fisher and Councillor Maves. Second, sorry, second by Councillor Mays. Any comments or questions with respect to the motion or the minutes? Having seen none, all those in favor? The motion is carried. Thank you. This time I'll ask for any disclosures of a pecuniary interest by any members of council. Uh, Councillor Wing? I have two. Um, the first is check 316400 made over to the Niagara Parks Commission. Although my spouse has accepted employment elsewhere, he's... Uh, <laughs> Not yet fully severed his pecuniary ties to the commission, so he's still on the payroll. Um, the second one is a matter that arose in camera uh, in which his new employer is involved, so I declared a conflict and left the room then as well. Okay, thank you. Councillor Iannone. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The check is 315792, and it was made to myself, and I also declared the same uh, conflict downstairs in camera. Okay, Councillor Maves. Yes, Your Worship, under the report section, uh, the general insurance report, that's my source of employment. Thank okay. Thank you. I did miss Councillor Peter Angel, and I have Councillor Thompson next. That's a uh, conflict. Oh, sorry. Okay, Councillor Peter Angel, go ahead, please. Thank you, Your Worship. Um, there is no check number. It's under a wire transfer made out to uh, Niagara Catholic District School Board. Thank you. So noted. And Councillor Thompson? Uh, in the committee meeting, there was a uh, discussion with respect to Development charges, which I have declared a conflict uh, in the past. So noted. Councilor Cario? Uh, same, Your Worship. Thank you. So noted. Are there any others? Okay, thank you very much. We'll move on to the deputation. <coughs> this evening, members of Council, we have a presentation on the 6th Annual Strike Load Violence <coughs> Bowling Tournament. And with us uh, this evening, I note that we have uh, representatives from, I guess, Women's Place, uh, Mr. Joe Tallarico, and Niagara Regional Police Sergeant Mark Lightfoot, who are going to address Council on, on the organization's 6th Annual Strike Load Violence Bowling Tournament. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Your Worship, Mayor Selsey and Council, I thank you for this opportunity to speak to you this evening about the annual Strikeout Violence Bowling Tournament. We are here as co-chairs of this event on behalf of this place of South Niagara to formally kick off the annual Strikeout Violence event to inform, educate the community about their services and domestic violence and to strengthen the partnership of Women's Place of South Niagara and the Niagara Regional Police and the community. As you are aware, Women's Place of South Niagara operates two shelters in the Niagara region, the Welland Shelter and Nova House here in Niagara Falls. The shelters not only provide safe refuge, but also provide 24-hour crisis lines and counseling programs. Women and children experiencing abuse and violence are able to access the shelter and many of the free confidential programs and services 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Last year alone, the Niagara Falls Shelter received nearly 1,500 crisis calls providing safe shelter to 114 women and 70 children, as well as providing support services to an additional 1,000 women and children through outreach programs and services. As Women's Place of South Niagara is only funded 70% by the provincial government, the agency is required to fundraise the remaining portion through private donations, municipal support, and through events as, such as Strikeout Violence Tournament. The Strikeout Violence Event a system in bridging the gap between the government, fund, the government funding and acquired annual operating dollars. All funds raised through this event support both shelters and help maintain a vital operations of the shelter and programs which educate, the count, educate and counsel women. Without events, without events such as this, Women's Place of South Niagara will not be able to continue to do what they do. 
The Strike Out Violence event is a community partnered event with the Niagara Regional Police Services. And at this time, I'd like to introduce one of our tournament chairs, NRP Sergeant Staff Mark Lightfoot. Mark? Good evening. Thank you, Joe. And on behalf of Chief Wendy Southall and all the men and women, both sworn and civilian of the Niagara Regional Police Service, I want to thank Mayor Salcy and the Council for allowing us to be here today. The relationship between the police and women's place has grown tremendously over the years. Now there is a genuine mutual respect and level of cooperation that did not, not always exist between the two. We were often adversarial, which was quite surprising to many of us because we shared a common goal. That goal was to assist victims of domestic violence and to work hard to ending unacceptable occurrences in our communities. It's a natural fit, therefore, the police and women's place to work together to achieve this. The Strike Out Violence Campaign is an effort to empower the communities of the Niagara region in helping us reach the goal of eradicating domestic violence. Thousands of women and children are in violent homes across the community. <laughs> Together, our communities can continue to diminish the stigma of abused women and children and provide safe shelter, <laughs> counseling, education, and transitional services that help families live safe, violence-free lives. I'm very pleased to have been asked to co-chair this event this year with co-chair Joe Tellerico. The event gets bigger each year and is a testament to our community, and I am very excited to be part of it. The bowlers and sponsors represent a broad spectrum of our society. Police, business, healthcare activists, social workers, politicians, service clubs, and just plain everyday caring people. Although this is an extremely fun and worthwhile event, I look forward to the day when it will not be necessary to hold it. Not only do we challenge our communities to become ambassadors for the many victims of violence, but we also challenge the businesses of the Niagara region to step forward and become sponsors in the event. In addition to the tremendous support from the community, we would like to challenge the City of Niagara Falls to again enter a team in the event and become a sponsor of this annual event. We will be challenging all the towns and cities of the region to take part in this event, and we'll be presenting the top city in the tournament with an award at the dinner reception to be held at Club Italia immediately following the bowling. I feel very confident that with Mayor, 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 Mayor Salcy and his personal bowling prowess, as well as that of our <laughs> city councilors, we will be well represented by the city of Niagara Falls. Thank you again for your continued support and participation on behalf of Women's Place, the Strike Off Violence Committee, and the hundreds of clients of the Women's Place Services. We thank you for your time this evening. Well, thank you, gentlemen. There may be some questions, and I should just let you know that each year we do have a uh, committee, uh, I'm sorry, a, a team from council, and I, I do sit with the uh, with the chief and uh, bowl with her, but I'd like to uh, recommend again we do the same thing. So, uh, Councillor Anona, do you want to make that motion? I'll make that motion. You've put so much pressure on us now that there's a prize. <laughs> I bowled with a grade 5 class five weeks ago, and they beat me with bumper pads. They're going to kick me off <laughs> Team. Um, I already recruted Mr. Ayurveda earlier in the day. Councilor Maves. And Councilor Maves and, and Jimmy were, were ready to go. But okay. there are eight of us, so we could form two teams. Councilor two teams Curious. of four. Okay. So if every, yep. If, That'd be great. Okay, then we'll put in two teams this okay, year. Okay, that's great. And um, we'll challenge you guys. Even our team will beat your team. And uh, we'll put in two teams and see what we can do. Great. Um, well, then you can't play. <laughs> That's great. Uh, again, thank you. Uh, I don't know if there's any other questions from members of council. We always uh, do appreciate your presentation and look forward to supporting Women's Place. As you know, this council has made a substantial commitment in the past, and we're going to continue to maintain that commitment. Uh, we need a seconder for council. I know a motion that's going to be Councilor Mays. All those in favor? Motion's carried. Thank you. So thank you once again, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the alley. Thank you. Thank you. Great. The dates, uh, just again, the date for everybody at home as well. Uh, February 29th. Yeah, it's a leap year, so we got that extra day. We threw it in. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> we move on to Mayor's reports. Uh, I'd like to just note before I do so that we do have in attendance this evening uh, two of our regional councillors, uh, Councillor Barb Greenwood and Councillor Norm Puttick. Welcome to our meeting this evening. At this time, members of council, I'm going to ask uh, for a slight uh, uh, deviation in the process. I'd like to ask for a ratification of the in-camera recommendations. Um, as you know, earlier in camera, there was a motion by council, you know, I know only second by myself, that council directs staff to prepare the legal agreement related to the naming of our new four-pad arena as the Bob Gale Complex, based on the donation by Mr. Bob Gale for naming rights, moved by 
Councillor Ionone, seconded by Councillor Diodati. Any comments or questions? All those in favour? The motion is carried. Thank you once again and thank you for your attention. I'd like to begin with a very important announcement for our city. It is my pleasure to announce that the new Fort Pat Arena in Niagara Falls will be named the Bob Gale Complex. Bob Gale, one of our city's foremost sports and community enthusiasts and proprietor of Gale's Gas Bars, has made a generous donation of $1.25 million as a commitment to our new arena capital fundraising campaign. $1 million is to be invested in the construction of the facility. And out of his generosity, Bob Gale has donated an additional $250,000 to contribute to an innovative flagship fund that would provide opportunities for those less fortunate to access programs and equipment. This is Bob Gale's real commitment to provide a resource that will promote equal opportunity for everyone in our city to participate in programs offered at the new complex. Members of Council uh, gratefully accepted uh, Bob Gale's contribution earlier this evening. Bob's leadership and commitment to come forward to invest in our community is outstanding and is a testament to his dedication uh, to community programs and sport. And we recognize the significant gift to the residents of the City of Niagara Falls and it is a privilege to be able to call the new Fort Pad Arena the Bob Gale Complex. So members of Council, if we can show our appreciation. I have some additional comments. I'd like to acknowledge a very important event that took place yesterday. The annual Sports Wall of Fame induction ceremony was held on Sunday at the Niagara Falls Memorial Arena. I'm pleased to offer my congratulations to this year's inductees. It was an honor to present to these pillars of sport and acknowledge their contribution to our community. Many thanks to uh, our staff at Parks, Rec and Culture uh, and to the Sports Wall of Fame Committee uh, for their continued efforts to organize this prestigious event in our city. And I'm pleased to thank uh, uh, former Councillor Paisley uh, Jangari and of course Councillor Shirley Fisher who sits on the committee. There are some upcoming events I would like to bring to the attention of residents and members of council as well. This evening in your package, you received a notice about a water and sewer rate review, which will take place on Thursday, January 4th, 2008 at City Hall in Committee Room 2, the lower level of City Hall, from 6.30 to 8 p.m. So it's the Water and Sewer Rate Review Committee taking place on January 24th, 6.30 to 8 p.m. downstairs. The official opening of the new ambulatory care unit will also take place at the Greater Niagara General Hospital this Friday, January 18th. We are certainly proud of this new and updated facility and our community look forward to residents benefiting from this investment by the Niagara Health System. The Niagara Falls Fire Station 4 in Chippewa will hold their annual service awards ceremony on Sunday, January 20th. I congratulate the firefighters who will be receiving awards for their dedicated service to our city. I look forward to greeting them along with members of council this weekend. I also would like to offer congratulations to Jamie Douglas, um, who is a landscape architect with, with our Parks, Recreation and Culture Department on his retirement this month. He has just announced his retirement. He's been with us, as you know, for 17 years, and we thank Jamie for his years of service to the City of Niagara Falls. Before I conclude, I'd like to offer condolences to Mr. Wayne Allen of our bylaw division at City Hall on the loss of his mother, uh, Lillian Allen, on December 31st. And we're very sorry for his loss, and our thoughts and prayers, of course, of those members of council are with uh, his family. And now this is our first meeting of 2008. I'd like to offer best wishes for a successful and happy new year to members of council, to city staff, and to residents. And I trust that we will continue to work together so that Niagara Falls will see prosperity and growth in 2008. Thank you very much. Yes, Councillor Peter Angel. Thanks, Your Worship. And I'm not too sure whether or not you were taking some comments when you announced the, uh, the name recognition of the, uh, of the Port Pat Arena, but... I think I'd be remiss if I didn't give a couple of comments. I mean, for anyone that thinks of, uh, of the Gale family, I guess, Your Worship, and anyone that knows them knows what generous philanthropists they are. And uh, there's a myriad of, of nonprofit organizations and different initiatives that they, that they fund throughout our city. Some of them are, Your Worship, we know are very public, like Project Share, Boys and Girls Club. I also know that Mr. Gale is very, uh, very, very passionate about the Greater Niagara General Hospital. But Your Worship, there's also many organizations that... Uh, that we don't know um, that the Gale family actually funds. And uh, well, I'm very humble, Your Worship, that Mr. Gale would find our project very worthwhile, um, so worthwhile that he's willing to donate $1.25 million. I'm also very honored, Your Worship, to display his name in village. Thank you very much for your comments, Council. I'm sure that they're shared by all members of Council. I'd like to acknowledge as well, we do have the co-chairs of our fundraising campaign here, uh, Mr. Don Jackson and Mr. Mick Wolf. Uh, they are just here for the announcement as well. I'm sure they're just as excited. Gentlemen, would you like to make any comment? 
Palestinian Council. I, I guess to uh, be a little bit corny here, we're, we're tickled pink that to have such a, a fantastic kickstart to our campaign and for uh, such a, uh, a valued community member who has such a history in this community to do it. I think we're all uh, extremely proud and uh, uh, know that it's going to be a great year in 2008 and nine when we open and we'll reach our goal and this is a great start to it. And, you know, we do have a press release uh, being forwarded to members of the press. Uh, also, we should re-emphasize, which is also commented that in the press release, the, um, there, this is the beginning of the campaign. As you know, uh, we started a, a seat sale, and many of us have participated in that. But also, there are still opportunities. Do you want to give us that pitch? Uh, absolutely. There are still uh, some pink seats left. And, and in fact, uh, if there continues to be such demand, then we would uh, expand uh, even upon that. But there are still uh, VIP seats, and there are still uh, naming opportunities, though those are also going very uh, quickly as well. That was passed at the last council meeting. But uh, uh, we're very much on track and uh, hope to meet and surpass our fundraising goal for the project. Well, thanks to you and Don for your efforts as well. Councillor Fisher. Thank you. Um, yesterday at the Sports Wall of Fame, they had one of the pink seats on display, and they had all the... Uh, um, documents there so you could certainly make a contribution or get your interest. So I think that it is well advertised and uh, I think this is the way it's going to happen. Thank you. Thank you again, gentlemen. Moving on to uh, communications and comments from the clerk. Uh, are there any at, at this point, uh, Mr. Clerk? No, you're right. Okay, any further uh, items for council's consideration? Nothing. We move on to ratification of community services uh, committee actions. I'm going to call on the chair, Councillor Iannone. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The following items are to be ratified from tonight's meeting of the community services committee. The meeting is that the minutes of December 10th, 2007 be approved. Uh, A2S 2008 Pettit Avenue Parking Review that a no stopping 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday to Friday except holidays restriction be installed on the east side of Pettit Avenue between Doreen Drive and Sherwood Road. B that TS2 2008-03 Pin Oak Drive, Canadian Drive and Montgomery Street Parking Control Review that parking be restricted on both sides of Pin Oak Drive between Canadian Drive and McLeod Road. Two, that parking be restricted on both sides of Canadian Drive between Montrose Road and Pin Oak Drive. And that parking be restricted on both sides of Montgomery between Pin Oak and the western terminus of Montgomery Road. CTS 2008-04, 5257 Drummond Road Driveway Safety Assessment that a do not block driveway sign be posted facing eastbound traffic on Valley Way at the east driveway to 5257 Drummond Road. And under new business, A, that staff prepare a report for the next council meeting detailing the current policy on selling surplus city lands, and that staff be directed to contact the regional chair to express the city's concerns regarding the amount of literature circulated concerning the GTA corridor. And I still move those minutes. Moved by Councillor Iannone, seconded by Councillor Fisher. Any further discussion or comment? Having seen none, all those in favor? The motion is carried. Thank you very much. This time I'm going to call for the ratification of Corporate Services Committee actions. And I'm going to call on the Chair, Mr. Our Councillor Peter Angelo, please. Yeah. Your Worship, I would defer it over to the Clerk. I think there was a bunch of motions that were made here. Okay. You have Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Thank you. Uh, through the Chair, I've got uh, about four or five items. Uh, that the minutes of the uh, December 10th, 2007 uh, Corporate Services Committee meeting be approved. <laughs> That uh, staff return a report on a policy regarding monies for uh, committee socials. <coughs> forward. That uh, two hundred two hundred thousand uh, dollars be added to the operating budget for uh, Main and Ferry CIP land purchases, and that that be offset by uh, funds from the sales of other city-owned lands. That the uh, Niagara Falls Council go on record supporting that the Niagara District Airport uh, be funded through the uh, region uh, with funding based on the uh, per capita regional tax levy. Thank you. You've heard uh, the comments again. A mover and seconder. Moved by Councillor Peter Angel, seconded by Councillor Diodati. Any comments or discussions further? Having seen none, all those in favor? The motion is carried. Thank you. This time, members of council will move on to the consent agenda. Are there any items that any councillor wishes to remove out of the consent agenda? That's so noted. I move, uh, actually, motion by councillor Carey to move the consent agenda, seconded by councillor Peter Angelo. 
Any comments or questions? Having seen none, all those in favor? The motion is carried. Mr. Clerk, uh, do we have any additional bylaws or amendments to the bylaws listed for council's consideration this evening? At this point, then, I'm going to ask for a motion to introduce the bylaws. The bylaws be given a first reading. Moved by Councillor Peter Angelo, seconded by Councillor Diodati. Again, you've seen the second, you've heard the second of the motion, and the council has heard the motion. Any questions or comments? Having seen none, all those in favor? Motion is carried. Thank you. Bylaws 2008 01 to 2008 08. Read our first time. Thank you. You can have a motion to give the bylaws a second and third reading. Moved by Councillor Peter Angel, seconded by Councillor Mays. Once again, uh, you've heard the motion. Any further questions or comments? Having seen none, all those in favor? Motion is carried. Thank you. Bylaws 2008 01 to 2008 08. Read a second and third time and passed. Thank you. This time, we're going to ask for any new business by members of council. By Councillor Ionone, Councillor Diodas. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just wanted to update Council and just say thank you for your support in regards to the Christmas letters to soldiers. And just so that the residents and the Board of Education know, we sent out um, roughly over 3,000 letters, cards, um, postcards, posters from the kids in the schools and from the residents and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds worth of dollars of Tim Hortons gift certificates went over. I'd like to thank Carrie Campbell. I couldn't have done it without her. She was an awesome resource. And they all went out before Christmas and made it. And I'd like to thank everybody for their support for, for Councillor Thompson for going out getting a, a major donation of Tim Hortons gift certificates. And I just hope we made somebody's day a little brighter when they received them. So thank, thank you. Thank you, Councillor. appreciate your effort. And those of uh, members of Council support as well, along with Carrie, thank you for your efforts and uh, making uh, somebody's life a little brighter. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Diodati. Thank you, Worship. I've got um, just a couple things. Uh, number one, just a reminder of this council, if you haven't already registered, uh, the Niagara Palooza uh, for revitalization, which will be important for any areas of the city, uh, is going to take place in the Sheridan Falls in January the 31st. Uh, it's a one-day event, and uh, the clerk just needs to be contacted. If you can swing it, we're going to have Richard Florida in town. It'll be a worthwhile, uh, worthwhile time. It's going to be in our backyard. That's January the 31st. Uh, second thing, uh, Hockeyville. Uh, this was brought up last time at this council. Staff uh, were very diligent, along with a few volunteers. Did an excellent job um, of putting together our application. If you have a chance to go to the CBC website and uh, punch in Hockeyville, you'll see uh, where we're at. Uh, we've made our submission. Over the next four weeks, an independent panel of judges will select uh, a limited number of semifinalists, and then the voting will begin. We'll keep you posted, but if you do have an opportunity... Uh, feel free to review our application on uh, at the CBC. And uh, lastly, uh, Your Worship, I'm going to look for a motion on this item. Uh, Earth Day. Earth Day is coming up March the 29th. And it's really interesting. Last year, Sydney, Australia took the lead. And uh, for one hour that day, they turned a bunch of the lights off in the city. I guess it was quite an inc incredible sight to see the, uh, the opera house dim, the whole downtown dim, the bridge dim. Uh, this year, it's become more of a world event, uh, including uh, Toronto will be the Canadian city that will be doing this. And they'll be looking at, for that one hour, turning down the CN Tower, turning down the uh, Rogers Centre. And, and it's more of an awareness thing That's a, of the movement. You know, obviously, there's some greenhouse gas issues. There's climate change issues. But not that that one hour is going to make a big impact. It's more of an awareness idea. And uh, it was Niagara Falls, we have an incredible opportunity. Uh, you know, they said in Australia for that hour they were serving dinners by candlelight. And it became kind of a romantic thing and a, and a fun thing. And Niagara Falls, I thought it would not be neat if we could get the Parks and uh, Commission involved. And for that one hour, we turned the lights out on the falls as well. And uh, maybe we could do something similar. So anyway, I would suggest I'd be happy to sit on a, a, a committee if we could have something initiated uh, with staff. Uh, where we could do uh, in our own, obviously it's going to be publicly driven. We need the community to get behind something like this, but I think yeah. it's a neat kind of movement. Uh, there's going to be a, a lot of uh, major publicity in the major medias across the world in the upcoming days. Right now, Toronto is the only Canadian city uh, involved. In uh, the U.S., there's Chicago. There's uh, you know there's countries all around the world that have chosen one major city. And I think uh, Niagara Falls is as famous as any address around the world when it comes to that. And, I would make the motion that we form this committee come up with some brainstorming ideas. Thank you. I'd be pleased to join you as well. So we have a motion by Councillor Diodati to form a committee. Anybody else? Seconded by Councillor Iononi. Anybody else wish to sit on the committee? Anybody else wish to sit on the committee? Chair, Ms. Iononi would like to join. Councillor Iononi, that's fine. Okay, and plus we'll work with staff. So all those in favor? The motion is carried. Thank you. Anything further? If not, a motion to adjourn.
Counselor Kerry and Counselor Neves. All those in favor, the motion is carried. Thank you.